Hey guys, Green here from ilikeairsoft.com and Airsoft Utah on the tubes. Coming to you today for the first time in my office. I'm working on a video called Operation Sidewinder. Kind of changing the norm from what I do. I wanted to change things up, make it a little fresh, and uh, add some some fun elements to it. Just wanted to show you a little behind the scenes look. It's nothing too spectacular, but I thought maybe you'd enjoy. So let's take a look. Every shot that I lay on the timeline, I always try to have some meaning or some, some interest. This shot of everyone at the briefing for the beginning of the game, I, I tried to add something as far as an effect for this, for this video. Why not add an F-15 to the background? As you can see, it's kind of parked here along with the cars. And then of course, it's, it's gone in this next shot. So if you hear, one minute spawn. The jet is already flying overhead. This whole shot out here for the defenders. Once they come was inside something the outpost. that I had to draw by hand each frame. So basically Post. I cut around Old School's body uh, as he is pointing to these little come various the elements, these little rocks. Once they come inside the outpost, two lives Spawning at the flag, one a minute, spawn. Trying to make every shot interesting is quite a challenge sometimes, especially when it's a blurry shot, very jittery. So I wanted to add something special to the end of this. I thought, what the heck, maybe I'll throw in a jet. I'm no 3D guy, but um, I was able to make something somewhat photorealistic So basically I just went to Turbo Squid, is a site online where I'm able to download 3D elements such as an F-15 fighter jet. And then I basically would just do a very simple animation into the project. <laughs> the shot was um, of old school and another player fighting for position. In the background we see two F-15s fly by. <laughs> take out a bunker. This this composition is three explosions, two in the back and one coming out the door. They have these what they call pre-keyed so that everything around it that's in the black you see is, is uh, keyed out. So I just add that over the top of my footage, place it where I want. I will take my mask pen tool and put a mask covering the bunker so that it the explosion will look like it is coming from behind. Then I'll do a motion track, add my other little masks here and there where I think they should be. Then I'll take this composition, uh, render it down flat without coloring effect, take it back into Final Cut, add the coloring, and it's nearly almost there. Next thing is sound. You're not complete without sound. Uh, video is only half of the picture. And luckily I have accumulated lots of sound effects. Gigs and gigs of sound effects. At the moment I'm using 21 tracks of audio for all the sound effects. I mean, your audio is so important when it comes to trying to sell something that's realistic. Well guys, thanks for watching. This is Green from ilikeairsoft.com and Airsoft Utah on YouTube. Also, give me a like on Facebook. Link's down in the description. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time. I don't know what this is. No more us. No us. Is it recording? <laughs> it's Green here from ilikeairsoft.com and Airsoft Utah on the tubes. Coming to you today live. <laughs> live.